I think one of the one of the foundational diseases is type two diabetes, and and uh, like we said, it doesn't begin the day we get the diagnosis, but it begins years to decades earlier. There's one other nuance about that. I that my thinking has changed. Also, again, I th I thought it was. Uh, an on and off switch, but now maybe it's a it's a long switch that goes back 20 years. But but still, at the end of the day, some people either get diabetes and some people don't. There's some interesting studies that we talk about in the book of adult Americans who are non-diabetic, and this this applies worldwide, I I think. But if we look at their their glucose markers, specifically hemoglobin A1C, which is a which is a diagnostic criteria for yeah. type two diabetes. When it gets higher and crosses the threshold, you have type two diabetes. So, if you look at these non-diabetic adults, and we look at their hemoglobin A1C with age, it gets higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. So, what does that mean? And I take it to mean that type two diabetes. For many, if not most of us, is on our horizon. In other words, it may be like gray hair or you know or wrinkles. In other words, if I don't die of something else first, and I live long enough, and we should all plan to live a long time because that's what's coming. And you know, now if I live long enough, I will eventually get type two diabetes just because my hemoglobin A one C will go up, and that's what the population numbers say. Um, so that it it's really on potentially all of our horizons. So we should all we should all or most of it we should all have a have a healthy lifestyle.